But first, we want to discuss the developments over the weekend after Iran launched more than 300 missiles and drones toward Israel, marking the first time Iran has directly attacked the Jewish state. So joining us now, spokesman for the Israeli government, Avi Hyman. And, uh, sir, Iran calls its attack on your country legitimate and responsible action, um, that they were responding. My question to you, sir, is what are the options in terms of a response? And can you confirm that there will be a response to this? Thank you so much for having me on this morning. Um, let me first say that this uh, narrative of retaliation is, is actually absurd because um, I can't speak directly to that uh, strike uh, in Damascus. What I can say definitively, definitively, is that was not an embassy. It was not a consulate. It was not a diplomatic mission. It was uh, it was a military uh, target, part of the Al Quds force, uh, which is obviously Iran's uh, major exporter of terror around the world. So they were there to do Israel harm. Um, as far as uh, the response, Israel will uh, retain our right as a sovereign uh, democratic country to defend ourselves after what you said was an unprecedented attack. And uh, thank goodness a unprecedented response. Uh, had some of those uh, ballistic missiles, um, uh, suicide drones or cruise missiles, uh, had more of them landed, there could have been absolute c uh, catastrophe in Israel. It could have been total carnage. So we're, we're thankful, and we're thankful to our strategic allies for standing with us on this one. Um, but it could have ended very, very differently. We have the President Emeritus of the Council on Foreign Relations, Richard Haas, with us, and he has the next question for you, sir. Richard? Sir, you just referred to the fact that had some of those missiles or, the, uh, or drones Iran launch gotten through, it could have caused real damage. There's a school of thought, though, here in the United States and elsewhere that Iran seemed very anxious for this not to escalate. They were very quick to announce in New York that the whole given you know, back and forth had been concluded. Do you take that seriously? Do you think Iran intended for those missiles to get through? Or do you think that they were simply res doing what they did in order to say, essentially, Israel can't expect uh, to be a sanctuary? How seriously did you, did you understand their military attack to be? Well, I think this was a very, very serious uh, military attack. I, I'm not sure if there's a, a precedent for it. What I can say is that uh, this is a, a huge country attacking a tiny country, uh, a country uh, Iran has been uh, funding uh, its proxies in terror um, pretty much from, their, from the Islamic resolution, uh, Revolution, uh, whether it's Hezbollah, Hamas, uh, the Houthis, um, etc. Now, there was peace. There was a form of peace. There was a form of ceasefire on October 6th. But then Hamas attacked us, raping, killing, burning whole families alive. Well, who was pulling the strings, if not the tyrants of Tehran? So it's not as if they, they want to paint this picture as if they started, you know, we did something mm -hmm. a few weeks ago, they're doing something now. That's not the case. This started long ago, and Iran is pulling all the strings in the Middle East, as far as terror is concerned. Mr. Hyman, good morning. Um, President Biden, in his phone call with Prime Minister Netanyahu over the weekend, certainly expressed U.S. support for Israel's need to defend itself, but also told the prime minister to, quote, take the win. And U.S. officials mm -hmm. urging Israeli is their Israeli counterparts to not do something they'd regret, another quote, uh, in terms of retaliation. Could you give us a sense, how much is your government going to listen to the Council of the United States and not uh, do a significant escalation here? I can't stress um, the nature of the relationship, of, of, of the friendship, of the uh, shared values that we have with the American people and with the administration. And we thank the administration for everything that they've done for us and continue to do for us. Um, but at the same time, we will have to, as a sovereign state, make the decisions to uh, defend our country in the best possible way. Now, in the beginning of the war, we were told, don't rush into Gaza, you know, don't go in hot-headed, and we didn't. We waited it out. We went in cool, calm, and collected. And we will, we're will. we currently assessing the situation with Iran, um, and we will act accordingly. But at the end of the day, it's us that grabbed our toddlers. It's us that grabbed our, our babies and ran for cover uh, on Saturday night when uh, 300 missiles, suicide drones um, were, were, were being blown up over the skies above us. 
So Israeli uh, government spokesperson Avi Hyman, thank you very much for coming on this morning. We appreciate it. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.